Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the serverless function. My name is Daniel O. Oh, I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. In this video, we're going to showcase how to create a simple function project using Golang program language based on OpenShift serverless function capability. If you have OpenShift 4.6 cluster, uh, which allows you to install OpenShift serverless 1.11 operator, Based on that, uh, you can have a powerful CLI command line interface and experience to create a function capability. As you can see, we can provide uh, multiple runtime like a Quarkus, Node.js, Golang, and then you can deploy uh, this application as a function using KNAVA service command line, and also you can trigger this function uh, using a cloud event and HTTP protocol. We're gonna more focus on Golang in this video. Okay, let's get into the demo. Okay, here's my sample project on OpenShift container platform. Name is go phone And there's a lot of resources found, which means I don't uh, deploy any application part in this project. Okay, let's try to create a new function project using KM phone command line. KM phone create and go phone which is a function name. And we're going to specify a long time is go rank. So the go rank project is automatically created. And let's try to open ID2 to take a look at the more detail uh, how this project is created. So the function name go to your phone and namespace and image image digest are related to our OpenShift container platform. We're gonna specify it just a bit later. Don't worry about that. And we're gonna use trigger HTTP protocol. And when you take a look at that, the sample application, the go handle.go. Uh, this application uh, handle your HTTP request based on uh, HTTP protocol. Okay, so next step, we're gonna change the directory to the right path of the current project, and then try to deploy our function to open the container platform using KNM func deploy command line. We need to specify external container registry. Once we build this application, then we need to push it the container image to external container registry. So we're gonna use a Quay.io, but you can also use a Docker Hub as an external container registry. So once we pull down the builder image for building our Golang application, and then next step, we're gonna have uh, the fast stack runtime image also, and we're gonna use a build path uh, to compile this Golang application. And then after that, we will push this containerized image to external container uh, registry just like I specify Quay.io. Okay, it's almost done. And now we are waiting for uh, deploying this application using KNAV serving on OpenShift container platform. All right, let's go back to uh, funk YAML file and then the namespace image, image digest already updated uh, based on the deployment output. So when you go back to OpenShift Container Platform in Dev Console, and the, the function already deployed based on HTTP function, and then try to access the endpoint, uh, open URL, and then we got a OK as a return code, just like a whistle in application code. All right, pretty simple and pretty awesome. We just need to just two command line, uh, create and build and deploy this function application based on Go and OpenShift Container Platform. So now we're gonna add a label in this part uh, to make sure and distinguish uh, this part because we're gonna deploy another Go function for handling cloud event. Okay, so change the directory and let's try to create another project uh, with the triggering a cloud event. So function name go dash phone dash events and the runtime go and the trigger is event. As you can see, the another project is automatically generate and then uh, open the func YAML file and then the new function name and the trigger event at its moment. And then uh, the sample application definitely uh, handle your cloud event rather than HTTP request. All right, pretty simple. And then uh, go back to terminal window and then change the directory. And then we try to deploy this application with the same command line, uh, KM from deploy and the external registry, same my uh, Quay.io registry. And then we're going to use the same namespace to deploy this uh, function application. So it's exactly the same procedure to build 
and packaging and pushy and deploy function to open the container platform as a server list. Okay, it's almost ready. Let's go to the phone YAML, so or namespace on uh, image is already updated, and then the application is already almost up. So click on the view rocks, and then you can find that initializing cloud event function in the recent port 8080, and then go back to topology view, and then uh, it's already, uh, it will be scaled down to zero in after maybe 20 and 30 seconds because uh, that is a default serverless uh, behavior in Apache Container Platform with the KNAV service. So in the meantime, let's take a look at the, what kinds of command line are available for creating our function. And so you can actually specify trigger and the runtime go, node.js, and purpose. And then we can actually uh, build this function separately uh, from your deploy. And then you can actually specify builder image and the registry and also uh, project path. And we already did uh, the function deployment command line, but you can um, find more information with the help uh, option. Okay, so let's try to uh, find the, how many functions so we, uh, we have. We have a two function here. One is HTTP trigger, the other one is cloud event. So it's already terminating. Okay, it's just terminating. Okay, so let's try to uh, involve this application uh, through cloud event. Here is some call command to use cloud event and uh, the return message of which the subreddit function would go. So the after we hit the URL and the, this function, uh, part is automatic speed up, and when you uh, take a look at the view logs, we can find the same message properly. So this is a really pretty cool and awesome way. Okay, so last thing, maybe sometimes you don't need to maintain a function, so we can actually delete it with the same command line, km func, and delete it with the function name. So go function event, and so it will delete your uh, function with the all including uh, resources like of uh, revision or the other image, etc. So as you can see, these all resources are deleting and then just delete it. And then when you go back to OpenShift Container Platform Developer Console, you, you don't you cannot see any longer that thing. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question around a cloud native runtime as well as OpenShift serverless function capability, uh, please let us know. We are more than happy to address your question. Have a good rest of the day.